Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Everyone Camera, where today we're watching the first episode of Cyberpunk Edgerunners. Now, story time. First of all, I intended on watching this show last weekend, then I put it off because I thought, hey, this won't be popular, right? So I can wait a few days to record it. And then in that intervening time, apparently the show has become quite popular, and that is quite good. On one hand, I'm late. On the other hand, I'm now much more excited to get into it. Second story. I actually played Cyberpunk 2077, not on YouTube because I could barely play the game, much less try to record it. And I had so much fun. I built my V. I got, though I got impatient with the character customization like halfway through, and had like a half finished version of him. But despite that, I had so much fun exploring Night City that I pretty much dove into side quests, and I forgot. Pretty much most of the main storyline and the fact that Count Reeves was even in it. I never finished the game mainly because my computer was bad and I just I couldn't keep playing the game at like 720p 15 FPS. I should really pick it up now because I've got a new computer but whatever. I still enjoyed the hell out of the world of Night City and the concept. It was it was freaking amazing both Story-wise and, you know, visuals, it was spectacular. So this Cyberpunk Edgerunners being in the same universe and being anime, I mean, I thought it was going to be fun even before I knew it was going to be a big thing. Last thing before we get into the episodes, if you like my reactions and you want to see more of them, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would be helpful. If you don't, well, uh, nothing, nothing will happen. So whatever. Let's just get into this video. I wonder if these uh, these settings are actually in the game. Like I said, I may have wandered around Night City a hell of a ton, but I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that tells me what rating the show is, because I did not know that going into it. <laughs> Man, even got the character's Mantis Blades. I never played far enough to game into the game to get those. I wanted them so much though. Like, even though they look so stupid. Oh. He was brain dancing, which is that like VR plug into your head thing. And he's playing it like a video game, which is extra funny. Because I was thinking the whole time that that guy cutting through those cops was he gave me the exact same feel. But when I got, when I felt really good at playing the game, I was just tearing through it. Jeez, not again. Why would a, why would it suspend it in the middle, like, without funds? Why not just not start at all? Even this apartment. Isn't this the same as V's apartment? Oh, I can't remember, it looks exactly like that. Uniform soaked. What is that? Oh my god, it all looks so familiar. When does this take place in terms of the game events? Didn't we attack a building like that? I can't remember for shite. I feel like I'm missing so many easter eggs that I should remember. Oh well, obviously she's someone important. And she was on the cover, I think. But for all we know, there could be a canonical V in the background and we'd never know. Arasaka. Well, Doc, that didn't work. You're crashing everyone's man. You should not have done that. You should have done it legit. This is not behavior befitting a pupil from a financially stable home. It's not. But he's not from a financially stable home. Does they do they not know that? You're breaking my heart, Miho. I can see both sides nice of their argument. Baby boy. So smart, because so she's trying her hardest and he's being an ass about it. I want to give and he, but he is and the good not it's wrong in saying he wants to help by like dropping out of school. I am never home. I, I'm sorry. Shouldn't that sounds lie. so fake. Try a better I'm sorry. Cry, Mom. Um. <laughs> shit. No! Do not! No! 
Do not kill that mother. I mean, I will... No. I know this is dystopian or whatever the fort, but no. Oh, No! Man, I wanted to... I turned on this episode right now because I thought I'd get a cool episode. Not this shit. I did not want to get pissed off right now. Visitation ain't part of your package. Oh, Visit right. oh my god, right, hey, dystopia? I should get but she better not be dead. Brought you your All mom's right. things. Looks uh military. Wait, wait, wait. Done it. His mom How stole that. I was staring at it for a second, knocked him comp right? I was seeing in that jacket. But she stole his spinal implant from that guy. Wait, judging by the picture I saw on um the on Netflix, is he gonna implant that thing? Not sell it. How could she afford to send you to our Oh god, Academy? dude, you're about to get killed. You only got two seconds before he punches you in the face. Go on. I mean, just aim at his gonads. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that like? <laughs> or you just like chest bursting? What are you saying, you idiot? What is he even doing? <laughs> That is the one of the thing in the Cyberpunk stories. It's like that Mr. difference between people who have mods and who don't. I'm calling in regards. You said the surgery was successful. True, but only so much we can do on the discount package. Worn down as she was, I doubt she'd have lasted much longer. Oh. Anyway, I'm supposed to tell you we offer some burial options. People in night. No. For a reason, kid. Or to a funeral home. Would you like to learn more? That takes take a second to cool off because that whole nonsense pissed me off to no end. I wasn't, I didn't want this when I played this episode. <sighs> Just that. Him slowly walking home with her ashes. You can just hear the recordings of all the money, all the debt that's stacking up. Shut the frick up! How were you even able to send messages to this fool? Murder him! If you go crazy, go kill your bully first. This is totally justified in this world. It also explains why he decides to graft that thing to his uh, spine. Anyone saying when did you take it off your hands? He doesn't want it off his hands. He wanted it in his spine. I want this. And that was episode one of Cyberpunk Edgerunners. If you can tell from the reaction, I'm a mixture of pissed off and depressed. Because I sat down to watch a cool sci-fi anime. Just one episode while something else, while another video of mine is rendering. And yeah. I didn't want to get pissed off. I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want to watch a mom who is trying her hardest for her kid to die and then die not because of her injuries, but because no one was effing willing to help her. I didn't want to deal with that emotion. If I had been warned, I would have been, I would have been prepared. The last time I got out of this chair like that, was when I was watching one episode of Pacific Rim Uprising. It's over here in the card tag or whatever it's called if you want to watch that reaction. Besides that, I had a whole rush of, I don't know if I call it nostalgia or just like memories looking at this show and looking at the game, which tells me that the show people m making the show put a lot of work into making it feel exactly like the world of nuts. Night City introduced in Cyberpunk 2077. So I'm glad they put that attention to detail into it. It, you know, really feels like the same kind of sort of world. The visuals look great. The music was fun. 
if you boil it down to it, this origin isn't exactly all that new. Then again, most stories aren't new these days. You just gotta, you're just remixing and recycling them. But this is his origin right here, right? And he's about to get that insane tech grafted onto his own spine. And yeah, I don't, he knows exactly what is about to happen. And it's called Cyberpunk Edge Runners. We don't know what an edge runner is yet. At least I don't, because I've never played the game far enough to know what that is. Or if it's a new concept in, made for the show. But he'll probably end up becoming one. And hopefully there are lighter episodes ahead to make, to balance off what happened here. But now I can't be sure. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. What? No, I'm not going to say what was your favorite part of the episode. Did this episode piss you off as much as it pissed me off? Over here is the next reaction where that comes out. Over here is a close to my videos. And on my face, it's the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.